nice. And I checked your request for today, but uh, you don't want any introduction. Is yeah. That right? Yes, right. All right. That's just fine. And <laughs> um, do you think I'm going too fast? I'm talking too fast? No, uh, it's good. It's fine. It's fine. All right. Thank you so much. And okay. So uh, let's go and check first. Okay. Okay. So what do you wish to talk about? Um, I chose an article. The title, uh, title is Rich Countries and Poor Nurses in the Advanced Part. All right. Um, would you type in the chat box? Type. Rich Countries and Poor Nurses. Oh, all right. Yes. Um, so you already have the material. Yes, right? right. This is a nice topic. And, okay. Um, let me just uh, see what I can do, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, let me see. I also have the material here. So would you like to start uh, the conversation now? Okay. All right. So, what do you think of this topic? Why do you like it? Uh, because you know, all over the all over the globe, we are experiencing this kind of problem. So, each countries. So each country. So, um, that's why I <laughs> chose this this article for today. And I think we have to um, make some uh, effort together globally to uh, solve this problem. Uh, uh, the it, it, uh, this article okay. is about the. <laughs> literally uh, yeah rich countries and poor nurses so uh, especially for this uh, pandemic situation uh, many countries are experiencing and su suffering a shortage of nurses and um, especially for poor countries uh, they need more Nurses, because uh, Western nations, uh, where uh, uh, which is a rich countries, um, uh, well, take. that's a very nice explanation already. And uh, what else? Anything you want to add? Uh, I I am living in the U.S., so I know about oh. the yeah the situation in my neighborhood, and there are many Korean uh, nurses here as well. So um, you know, rich countries like Western nations uh, take more nurses from poor countries uh, giving more money to them and um, giving them a better uh, educational atmosphere and environment so many educated nurses go to the rich countries to uh, get a more get more money and um, get more higher educate education so I but you know yeah it's very good for rich countries but it's not that uh, 
good for poor countries as well. So uh, at, um, the article said that after the pandemic situation is fin- f- finished, it, uh, there are a lot of problems about um, uh, yeah nurses because uh, during the pandemic, uh, many countries put off put off surgeries and important procedures. Uh, so after it finishes, it, uh, it is finished. It, uh, the nursing sh- shortage you will continue. So we need a global effort to, yeah, solve this problem. Mm, that is true. And what do you think? Uh, you're talking about global effort. Uh, what do you think? Could you suggest? Mm. to make it better? Uh, first of all, um, as, the, as the article said, as the article mentioned, uh, I think healthcare organizations around the world uh, have to um, think about a long-term plan to add more yeah, nurses. So... They actually they don't have a, they cannot uh, give a financial support to the uh, to yeah each country, but uh, I think they can like uh, they namely health healthcare organizations can suggest a good plan to uh, in the uh, to the world so that they. Can yeah take measures to uh, yeah solve these problem problems. Wow, that's a very nice suggestion. And yes, uh, they can suggest a good or better plans. Mm-hmm. Um, a, a good plan to make better healthcare, right? Yes. That's a very nice one. And, all right, so will you tell me um, the situation in your country since uh, this topic is, of course, about the pandemic? Will you tell me something about it? Uh, You said you are currently in the U.S., right? Yes, right. Mm, Actually, yeah, in the U.S., even it is... uh, rich country <laughs> we have a lot of problems with nurse, nurses and shortage um, of uh, the hospital hospital uh, room rooms for patient so uh, they are hiring more nurses from poor countries but uh, it's still, still, yeah, not enough. It is still not All enough. Right. Mm-hmm. But are you okay that they're getting nurses from poor countries, or you want them to get other nurses from all the countries all over the world? Uh, I think, uh, especially in this uh, hard situation, uh, many countries uh, uh, only think of themselves. <laughs> you know, we already experienced that kind of things uh, when there were uh, there there were there was uh, not enough vaccination of the coronavirus. So. You know, at that time, many rich countries uh, spend a lot of money to uh, uh, um, purchase vaccinations for their citizen, citizens. And uh, uh, on the other hand, poor countries uh, couldn't have, have enough money to buy 
uh, vaccination for their citizens. So, yeah, it is. Uh, I think it is a similar situation to that. And uh, mm, yeah, in this different <laughs> uh, difficult situation, uh, we have no choice to but to. Uh, uh, <laughs> take uh, more nurses from poor countries. I think, yeah, it is very selfish thought, but yeah, we don't have any <laughs> uh, option to, uh, yeah, especially in this you are situation. Correct. <laughs> yes, I think you are correct. We don't have any options. We need each other's help. Right? Mm-hmm. Do you agree? Uh, each other's help. Uh, right. I I think it's not on it's not unfair <laughs> situation because you know if they have a lot of money they can get more nurses than poor countries. So uh, I think they don't help. They uh, don't help um, help out uh, other countries <laughs> only for their oh, yeah interest. I, I could see your point. That's a very good one, right? So you're saying if they are rich, why not get more uh, nurses from their own countries, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, right. Okay, that's re that's a very nice way to put it, and uh, uh, that's really very good. So, uh, let's see. If you were the nurses from, um, if you were a nurse, say for example, mm -hmm. would you accept uh, a job offer asking you to go to places uh, where there is high pandemic rate? Of course, why not? <laughs> Actually, uh, one of my friends uh, who is living in the U.S. as well, uh, she was a nurse in the, in Korea, but she is not a nurse here because she is not a good not good at uh, English speaking English. So she is studying English uh, more to. Uh, become a nurse here. So I think many uh, foreigner people are eager to become a nurse here to um, get a citizenship, U U.S. citizenship. But oh. yeah, they can, they can op afford to yeah that. So uh, if I were a nurse and I uh, can get a job offer here, yeah, of course, I will get, I, I will accept that opportunity, uh, because you know, as a foreigner living in the U.S., uh, I think nurse is a very stable job, so that's why many people want to be a nurse in the U.S. as a foreigner. And um, uh, actually, I don't have job here. <laughs> My husband is working here for a researcher, so uh, I'm. It it is not necessary. It is not necessary to have a job <laughs> for me. But if I don't have a husband who is working here, I would, yeah take an effort to yeah, hardly to get a job, a stable job get here. Oh, all right, absolutely. It's really good that um, you're okay in where you're living, but you're still seeing uh, the good um, that should happen to other people, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so what do you think? What do you think have you learned from this topic? Uh, as I mentioned, uh, 
more uh, fuller uh, the fuller the country is the uh, shorter of the nurses this is so uh, the nurses they have so um, I think it's a very sad uh, reality of our <laughs> world so uh, I think we have to yeah, take a measure to um, hire or educate more nurses in each country to uh, yeah, solve this problem. And um, yeah, if so, I think uh, the shortage of the nurses is not a problem anymore. Every country. Oh. I hope. <laughs> yes, I think so. Yes, let's hope for the best, right? Mm -hmm. And okay, what else? Uh, what would you like to say to all the nurses who has oh? Uh, before that, what would you like to say to rich countries uh, like America and other country, rich countries you know about getting poor nurses? If you will have the chance, say, to talk to um, some diplomats from rich countries, what would you tell them? Mm. I... Uh, actually, I don't have any. <laughs> I don't have any idea about that because I think the uh, each country uh, do the do their best <laughs> in this situation. So I don't have any yeah words to give them. Mm, and I have a question about Philippine now. Right. The situation of Philippines. Okay. How about the situation of Philippines? Uh, about shortage of nurses. Well, that's a very nice question, and I think uh, when you're in the medical field, uh, sometimes you cannot say no when mm -hmm. you're needed to be deployed uh, to other places, even doctors, right? So during the pandemic, I know some, I've heard and read in the news that some nurses here are really getting tired, mm -hmm. but they need to, of course. They also don't want their families to be affected by the pandemic, so they're really into helping. Mm, dedicate, yeah. Mm -hmm. They are really dedicated. Mm -hmm. I believe that. Do you agree? Yes, right. All over the world, yeah. Okay, that's a very nice word, dedicated. Mm -hmm. Just like you, your points of view, they're really dedicated to letting the rich country see something um, good. Uh, choose, you said a while ago, to choose. Uh, take measures, take mm. some good measures, right? Mm. Yeah, right. Okay, absolutely. By the way, I think it's already time. I really want to talk more. I am enjoying. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you did well today. You were able to uh, summarize what you've read, the chosen topic, okay? Mm -hmm. And you, your pronunciation is quite clear. And you seldom, I even, I think I didn't hear, I didn't hear any pronunciation mistakes. Just keep on practicing, mm -hmm. and you're almost there. Good job. <laughs> Thank you very much. Very impressed. I will see you again. Okay. And thank you so much, Sunny. Have mm -hmm. a great night. You too. Take care. Bye. Good job. Bye-bye.